a very warmest welcome to everyone in my new video so today we are going to talking about sensory evaluation how we experience food is a multi sensory experience involving taste feel of the food in our mouth aroma and the feasting of our eyes professor charles spencer oxford university so these are the slogans so what is sensory evaluation sensory evaluation is a scientific discipline that analyzes and measures human responses to the composition of food and drinks example appearance touch odor texture temperature and taste why use sensory evaluation sensory evaluation can be used to first compare similarities and differences in a range of dishes and product second evaluate a range of existing dishes food product analyze food samples for improvements third cause responses to a dish product example acceptable versus unacceptable next one is explore a specific characteristics of an ingredients or dish oblique food product next check whether a final dish food product meets its original specification last one is provide objective and subjective feedback data to enable informed decision to be made so the senses there are five senses used when tasting food and drinks sight smell taste hearing and touch the senses help to develop food preferences like and dislikes and evaluate foods through preference or discrimination test sight and smell the size shape color temperature and surface texture all play an important part in helping to determine the first reaction to a food a smell that is also called odor and taste work together to produce flavor this is the reason why people will a blocked nose find it difficult to determine the flavor of foods a smell can trigger memories and either encourage or discourage someone from eating a food so taste hearing and touch we can detect five basic tastes bitter salt sour sweet and umami the sound of food being prepared cooked served and eaten all help to influence food preferences the sound also influence our understanding of whether they are fresh or ripe example a crisp crunchy apple food texture is the way food is felt by the fingertips tongue teeth and palate when food is placed in the mouth the surface of the tongue and other sensitive skin react to its surface texture this sensation is known as mouth feel taste receptors the classical taste map is an oversimplification sensitivity to all taste is distributed across the whole tongue and other regions of the mouth where there are taste buds but some areas are more responsive to certain tastes than others our tongue are covered with taste buds which are designed to sense chemicals in the mouth most taste buds are located in the top outer edges of the tongue but there are also receptors that the back of the tongue as well as on the walls of the mouth and at the back of the throat as we chew food molecules mix with saliva inter taste pores and interact with gustatory hairs also known as taste receptors this triggers nerve impulses that are transmitted to the brain taste receptors human tongue are covered with 2000 to 10000 taste buds and each buds contain between 50 and 100 taste receptor cells taste buds are activated very quickly a salty or sweet taste that touches a taste buds for even 1/10th of a second will trigger a neural impulse on average taste buds live for about 5 days after which new taste buds are created to replace them as we get older the rate of creation decreases making us less sensitive to the taste why is sensory evaluation important so this is very important question so sensory evaluation is used at several stages during product development and production to first evaluate a range of existing food product second analyze a taste kitchen sample for improvement third gauge consumer responses to a product fourth check that a final product meets its original specification next detect differences between product from different runs or batches last one is monitor quality control by checking regular samples against a specification so setting up a testing area everyone has different perception of taste so the testers should understand that no one has the right answer during a testing session the testers should not talk or share ideas or look at the expression on the faces of the other testers in industry testing booths are used to prevent this from happening fair testing in order to obtain reliable result that tests are set up in a controlled way to ensure fair testing this could include first a quiet environment controlled by lighting and temperature 
second an atmosphere free from smells third individuals both to reduce influence from other testers fourth food samples presented or in identical sized and shaped plain containers control to ensure fair testing also include all samples served in the same way at the same temperature appropriate to the food next testers allowed to sip water or eat a plain biscuit in between each testing to clear the palate a small number of samples presented at one time otherwise their taste buds get tired okay sample of food coded randomly to avoid the testers having a preference example three random three random numbers or letters such as 327 or dth single numbers such as 1 2 3 are avoided as this number can imply that the food has an order already clear instructions are given to the testers a straight forward response sheet are used to record the result so these are the overall magazine for the sensory evaluation of food that is also called sensory vocabulary okay so thank you very much to watching my video regarding sensory evolution if you liked it so please share with your friend your teachers your colleagues meet as soon as possible